Hello guys, this is Pop Pompa back at it again and today I have what I think is the best, the strongest Poiser, Stardust, Tr Synchron, whatever you want to call it, deck, of course. So, insane what this deck can do, insane uh, through how many interruptions this thing can go. It's literally insane, and going first, it can pull out a very nice board. Um, also, anti Dark Hole for some of you in the comments that like to spam Dark Hole every time I bring out a video that is actually that brings a good turn one board. Of course, this features Trishula during your opponent's turn, so Banish Tree uh, that we're definitely gonna need against all of these super powerful deck. And yep, I love it. You can still adjust the extra deck, like if you wanna, if you miss something, if you wanna play different, you could potentially. But I think this is just the best fit. But before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder: if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So I'm here with you, say food, of course, and again, a bond eliminate the future. So I'm not gonna over the skill. You now know what that does, and boom. So this is. An Excel Synchron Makina, right? And I mean, this is not new. I've brought on the channel um, something like this uh, already, right? But uh, this is something that goes even further. Ah, uh, like. You're gonna see in the replay, you're gonna see specifically the replay where I'm gonna demonstrate you that you can literally summon. Two Trishulas in the same turn without your normal summon. Cheese. Swiss cheese, we're talking about something crazy. Crazy. Okay, so where this deck comes from, where the idea of this deck comes from, very easy. Uh, the idea of having a Machina Fortress, very easily special summoner will be its own effect by this discarding machine type monsters that actually synchrons happen to be, so that's why they synergize. And uh, the the best combo that uh, we found so far, uh, playing synchrons, the, uh, all these duels, and these the, uh, the 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 combo without a normal summon of. Doppel Warrior plus Jet Synchro. So we have a very nice combo that goes to that can give you a, um, a level 8 synchro or even further, depending on what you want, of course. And it's just by using the skill to send the Jet Synchro to Grave. And then you normal you special summon with its own effect Jet Synchro. And if you have Doppel Warrior in your hand, it gets triggered. So you got 2 plus 1 without your normal summon going to going into a tree that is Sorrow Cat. And then Sorrow Cat. Uh, when you Synchro Summon Sorrow Cat, Doppel Warrior's effect gets activated, you get a couple of tokens level 1, and from there you can go on. Again, guys, it's too much to explain here. Uh, again, just, just look at the replays, but this is so resilient. This deck can do so much. Don't forget uh, about two things. Apart from all these extra deck monsters that you, of course, can summon, oh, you can summon all of those. You have to remember actually three things, not two, three things. First thing first, Machina Fortress effect. When he gets destroyed by battle, you can pop a card. So you can crash into a monster to trigger its effect. And if you have a, a Citadel in the graveyard, you get two effects. You get to pop a card on the field with Fortress, plus you get your Citadel out on the field. Second thing, well, uh, this deck can also start with a draw. And that can seem so stupid or so uh, actually n not that relevant, but trust me, it can literally un that that single draw can unbreak your end. And trust me, this deck cannot break that that easily. So because we're playing the combo mono synchron plus synchron explorer, so these two, even if there's some of level is three, they're gonna give you formula synchron because of the effect of mono synchron. So you start with mono synchron and you get your nice draw, and that's super important. Last but not least, every time in this deck a machine hearth monster gets destroyed, you get to summon this guy from your graveyard. Why you wanna have Citadel in your from your graveyard onto your field? Well, this is a lightning vortex, a dark hole, whatever you wanna call it, because this can target the machine time monsters quick effect, so this can happen even during your opponent's turn to pop all of your all of your opponent's monsters 
that have attack less unequal to the monster you destroyed. Of course, if you pop it himself, it's gonna have, you can destroy all of your opponent's monsters that, that have 3k or less. Super nice. And, well, uh, this is super nice. Really super nice. Triple deployment makes this so consistent. Triple tuning, and you can search both the monosynchron and the jet synchron. And, of course, when you play tuning, you're gonna always see me playing Lost Wind. For the extra deck, you need, of course, Quasar and Stardust Dragon for the skill, then Trishula, super easily summonable during your opponent's turn, uh, Radiros Dragon, that is actually your backup plan in case you break, and it could be basically a way to clear the graveyard by banishing everything, plus a, 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 a negation for a destruction effect. Then we have Formula Synchron, and we have two Axel Synchro uh, players, and we have, because it's Formula Synchron and Sorrowcat, super nice, of course, you can get benefit from Sorrowcat recycling a Synchro monster from your graveyard to special summon itself. And then, a couple of nice addition, Croco, Cracker Dragon, a card your opponent's not gonna expect, plus it gives you another draw eventually, or two draw even. Um, you could actually even go to have got two draws because you can summon this with the Machina Fortress, a token of Doppel Warrior, and a Jet Synchron. And trust me, it can happen. And then, last but not least, all the Entity Astor, they can be a nice um, negation going through your combo. Like, um, because this guy, whenever if it's sent to the graveyard from the from the monster zone you get its effect of basically negating one of your opponent's face-up monsters, right? Because he, he, he keeps to it. And also you can actually steal it eventually. But uh, you can send Astor, keep in mind, simply we going on with your Synchro Summon. That's why it's super nice. Uh, it's always a nice surprise that can save, save the die and actually uh, break a board. Super nice. Guys, again, see the replays. And you're just gonna see that the most craziest, the most crazy replay is gonna be, the craziest replay is gonna be one when I lose because I misplayed, because I actually wasn't paying enough, enough attention, but you're gonna see how much, how many things this deck can do. Trust me. And that's it for the explanation. Stay tuned for the replays, everything explained as always. And of course, if you have some questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below. And let's jump. Right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First replay against Yudo. Let's see what we have here. So it's us to go first, and you can see the combo here, right? So we start with a Bond Eliminate the Future to get the Synchron Explorer. So you just need Mono Synchron or Jet Synchron or a tuning in order to go uh, into your normal summon combo, right? So we got the Synchro Chase out, of course, then Machina Redeployment to get a Citadel and a Fortress, that's why it's super nice, then normal summon, of course, into the Mono Synchron, here comes the draw, super nice, super spice. So Formula Synchron is here, Synchro Chase to bring back the level 2, and Formula Synchron to draw a card. Here comes your, uh, basically your uh, um, Trishula setup, because you have 2 plus 2, this is Axel Synchro, and of course the Machina Fortress that you can summon whenever you want. But we also have Doppel Warrior, so you can actually summon it, because we draw um, soon after we just summoned a, a monster from the graveyard, so we also have Doppel Warrior. Then special summon of Machina Fortress, as you can see. And why did I send Citadel? Because, well, I wanted that to happen, so that I... Um, what happens here is that I'm gonna use Doppel Warrior as the monster for Trishula, and then I'm gonna leave the Synchron Explorer on the field. Why? Because it's a machine heart monster, so if he gets destroyed, we're gonna be able to summon the Citadel from the graveyard. Don't forget about it. So, there you go. This is Raiders Rebellion that fell off from the tier list just because of agents, of course, and, um, uh, and rockets, but still uh, pretty, actually. If you don't play Lancia, it's gonna be super tough. I mean, we don't play Lancia here, but of course you can add it if you want. 
So he's got his combo, he's got a couple of monsters there. Guess what? Formula Synchron uh, into Trishula Zero in defense to banish three card. Super nice. He's got his normal summon plus Knight's Sword to summon another level 3 so he can go further. He's got Break Sword as you can see there. So he's gonna pop his own, itself and my Trishula to summon and uh, to basically have the, the two Phantom Knights treated as level 4. And then Raider's Knight is gonna use its effect to rank up Xyz into Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. But now look at what happens now. So he's gonna set a card attacking, but because that was destroyed, Citadel comes back. And I didn't use the effect, guys. Why? Because this guy can't be destroyed by card effects. So there was no point. We just have to crash into it, right? I'm wrong, because we can get tuning to get the um, jet synchron. Then, of course, a bond eliminate the future to get out a couple of boys. The normal summon into Stardust Dragon. The synchro chase is gonna bring back the ancient fairy dragon. So, of course, this means we can go all the way into the quasar combo. Power to Dragon, there you go, Quasar can take care of our Rebellion Xyz Dragon, so we're chilling now, first attack, second attack, that's how you do it, my boys, there you go, second duel going first against Agents. So let's see what we have. Beautiful hand because we got everything. So a bond to begin with, getting another jet sinker because we already got everything. Then uh, Makina redeployment to get, of course, the Citadel and the Fortress. At this point, normal summon the Synchron Explorer to get the mono. Uh, synchro summon, of course, into Formula Synchron to get another ice, nice draw. Uh, plus Synchro Chase bringing back the Synchron Explorer. Of course, keep in mind, guys, this has to be the order. When you have synchronies on the field, if you're happening to go for a chain, always activate in the end a synchron, um, synchro monster. So that synchro chase makes it so your opponent cannot respond to it. So we got the explorer, we drew another Makina Fortress, then special summon of Jet Synchron by discarding a Makina Fortress that we special summon from Grave by discarding the Citadel. Super nice. So we got first synchro summon, actually second synchro summon into Stardust Dragon. So Stardust Dragon here to get why, why is why this guy is here? Just in case he starts with Darkhold, because little spoiler ahead, he, he, all of the agents deck that I'm facing are playing triple Darkhold. Don't know why, they just, I guess, when they go second, they're playing the triple Dark Hole. So, this is your way to survive Dark Hole. Because, of course, Stardust Dragon can negate anything that pops. Potentially, it can negate also Master Hyperion. Then we have another Machina Vodra Summon. So, we have Trishula Setup plus the Protection. Now, you could do something with this. Like, I'm playing uh, Ruddy Rose. Because Ruddy Rose can be played even with Samsara and Makina Fortress. But potentially, if you trust that you're not gonna break ever, 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 you can replace a Ruddy Rose Dragon with the Stardust Warrior. And in this case, you could go during your opponent's turn, Synchro Summon into Stardust Warrior, then Synchro Chase brings back Formula Synchron, and you could potentially go that then into Trishula, having basically a Banish Tree plus, just plus a Summon Negation. That could be the thing. So, we got, we ended the turn here, uh, pretty confident, and he's got the, of course, the combo, as you can see, plus the, the search. So he's got first the Master Ipion, because he wanted to pop, uh, I don't know what though, he started with the Sanctuary in the Sky, Master Ipion to pop the, uh, the Formula Synchron, Stardust Dragon the Gates, Victim Sanctuary! And then he's got another one though. At this point I had to go, but guess what? After he targeted the Formula Synchron, I mean, there was no point in summoning Trishula straight away and banish those two, because he had Neptune in end, so he was about to summon Probo, or actually had a, a Venus in his end. So if I used Trishula straight away, I would have been left with nothing. So I had to play differently. What did I do? I dodged the pop with the Synchro Summon of Astor. So now if he pops Astor, we're in a very good spot. So he's got normal summon of Venus, as I told you. So if I went into, if I, if I had gone into uh, Trishula by banishing and banishing Hyperion and the Sidereal in the Sky, 
it would have, it would have not been enough. That's it. So he's going into his combo. We can't do that much, but keep in mind, guys, we still have the Citadel in the graveyard. So yeah, we we can do something, right? So let's see what he's going for. Venus again, getting another couple of um, of. Uh, shine balls, one shuffle back into the deck, then here comes Chanbara because he wants to finish me. But I guess he's underestimated the situation. Seekers in the sky to get another Iperion. Jeez. Popping the Astor, but guess what? Astor it keeps itself to the Iperion so he can't pop again. He went for the effect of agents, protect of the agents, to pop the fortress, and guess what? Because the fortress was destroyed, Citadel comes back. And now he's using Iperion to pop Citadel, but he got negated, and then he just waited, uh, and then he scooped because he could do nothing. Keep in mind, guys, next turn, apart from the draw, we have um, Jet Synchron in Grave, we could actually also, but we also already have Stardust Dragon in the graveyard, so... Uh, Oh, now that I think about it, Stardust Dragon is coming back in the end phase. So next turn, Quasar would have been more than guaranteed. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Third duel interrupting a 4-1 Shrek, we have Battle Chronicle. Let's see what we have. So it's in to go first. It's got Heat Wave. Jeez, that was so sad. Searching for the spirit and actually the alternative. But then it just got the blue eyes white dragon, getting the successor soul. And well, it's a bad thing here, right? So we used Machina deployment just to set the Citadel in grave. And at this point, we're using the skill to search the Synchron Explorer, but just to set it so that if he actually um, destroys it, we're gonna get the Citadel. So it's got Spirit of White. And then it's just attacking there, and guess who comes back? The Citadel. We're flying. He attacks, but Citadel uses its effect to pop everything. Dark all is here. Now we got Synchro Chase out. We could use the effect of uh, my Fortress to summon itself. Then uh, Jet Singer from the Grave, but it's got Treacherous. And can you believe that that was not enough? Because he popped Fortress, Citadel comes back again. And we have another Citadel, so Fortress is coming back again. And we can attack and just go for lethal because that is successor so that he just searched before. That's how you do it, my boys. You threw a neat wave. There you go. Or actually not winning a row because I lost this. Guys, now before seeing this, please remind I'm um, just a stupid duelist. Uh, but this is gonna perfectly showcase how far this deck can go. So brace yourself. Brace yourselves because we're coming. We're coming. So let's speed things up. This is the classic tag genius. He's gonna end up on an halberd and a, an indestructible and uh, untargetable because he's gonna have he's gonna have the link. So can you believe I went to double Trishula through an halberd? You're gonna see this. You're gonna see this. Just 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 wait. So let's speed things up. Uh, classic tag genius combo. 90% uh, of you knows this. Uh, either because he plays it or just because he uh, faced that, right? So there you go, of course, the Dragonfly. Uh, and then, of course, the Albert Can. Now it's us. And he started with the Lancia, right? By banishing it. Now that is not a problem because we don't need banishing. So that's perfectly fine. But the point was that I completely forgot about it. I completely forgot about Lancia. So. What is happening now is that I'm trying to go for Trishula, but I can't banish. This is gonna be a disappointment, but still. Uh, he also forgot. He also forgot that he used Lancia because look at what happens. So we started with the tuning to get the Mono Synchron to hand, and we milled a Fortress. Very nice, actually. Then we got the uh, Bonds in the Future to get the Synchron Explorer, right? Synchro Chase to begin with, then Jet Synchron Special Summon, and as I told you, this is the side combo. Without Normal Summon, you got Doppel Warrior in end, Special Summon of Jet Synchron, Doppel Warrior is here. Synchro Summon into Sorrow Cat. He decided not to stop it, that's fine. Doppel Warrior's tokens are coming, and now what we're gonna do is summon the Fortress from the Graveyard by banishing Citadel. 3, 1, 7. This is 11. And the first Trishula comes out. Of course, actually not of course, he forgot to activate Lancia, as I did. So he negated the summon of Trishula. Is that a problem? No. 
some Zarza sort of fact to recycle Trishula back to the extra deck, right? And then I went with Quetzal so Sorokat special summon itself. But what happens now? We can summon Fortress back again because we have another Citadel. So there you go. 7 plus 2 plus 1. Second Trishula. Second Trishula in a row. Same turn without your normal summon. Dude. Dude. But I was stupid because second time I couldn't vanish anyway. I was so stupid from my side. And then I went with Synchron Explorer into Formula Synchron, drawing a card plus the effect of Synchro Chase to bring back the Synchron Explorer. So we got a, a card and of course we got the uh, Astor out. But that was just a misplay and then I attacked. But of course that was not the way you sh we should have done that. I wasted <laughs> two Trishulas basically. Because keep in mind, what was so stupid for me was that uh, I could have also waited, I could have done so many things, but, ex I mean, I'm just so stupid, guys, I'm sorry. And yeah, we went on at this point, I want to show you, we went with the Herald of the Arc Light attacking, there's nothing, more, there's nothing more I can do because he can just negate that. Aster is a fact, for that, but he can negate also that, so uh, nothing really can happen. Tuning, but I can't do nothing at this point. I wasted everything, even having the Sorrow Cat, but he's also got, he's got DD Crow, so he had the perfect setup, but I just misplayed. Anyway, that is what this deck can do. Last but not least, guys, we have Battle Chronicle again. Another, uh, another, uh, another time. Another, uh, another duel against a tier one. So tuning to begin with to get the Jet Synchron Mono Engrave. Perfect. So usually, guys, when you have to choose between Mono and Jet, you can, <clears throat> if you already have the Synchron Explorer in hand, you can go for uh, uh, mm, with tuning. You search Jet Synchron. Because then you're gonna use the skill to send Jet Synchron to Grave and grab Mono Synchron. And you can get your Mono Synchron in Grave by using the effect of Jet Synchron. Okay? So that's super nice. We got Synchro Chase. Uh, we got, there you go, the combo Synchron Explorer getting the Mono Synchron. Of course, Formula Synchron, uh, drumming a card plus getting level 2 out. Uh, super nice. Chain blocking here, getting another top of Warrior, not that it was needed. But still, um, then Jet Synchron here, uh, special summon to go into some sort of Sorrow of Cat. So, why? what is this? This is when you kind of break and you don't have Makina Fortress. Keep in mind, guys, we literally play six Makina Fortress. The three Makina Fortress plus the three Makina Redeployment. But we didn't draw it, so I had to go with this. So, he's got Heatwave to begin with. I changed the Formula Synchron's effect to get the Huster, because as you can see, can help you and he can actually pull you out from uh, a lot out of a lot of bad situations so he's got the uh, the normal blue eyes of course successful in his hand with the skill satri attacking that's fine because some sarasorga can come back but keep in mind now we can't summon anything because of the pro because of the um the heat wave so we just had just synchron and we're chilled he's got crackdown to steal the uh the hustler that's fine he's attacking can use successes alone a set monster so that was the correct move at this point xoro cat to get the formula synchron back then we got double warriors effect he's got successor soul using my hustler and to send the 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 Soro cat the grave actually banished but that's fine. Still Doppel Warrior. Haster to a keep to the Dry Dragon. He used the Ultimate Fusion. But he had not enough blue eyes to go for it. So he went into the Dragon Master Knight. But we don't care. Then we got normal summon of Mono Synchron into Formula Synchron back again. Because we send it, we shuffle it back to the graveyard with the effect of Sorra Cat. So Formula Synchron drawing a card plus Synchro Chase getting the guy back. Super nice. Guess what we drew? Finally, the fortress uh, that is here. And 2 plus 2 plus 7 means Trishula 0, banishing the two boys, plus a couple of tokens that were not needed, of course. Uh, so, banish those. A bond, illuminate the future to get a couple of signed dragons that are, of course, more than 4k. In this case, even more than 5k. That's so you do it, my boys. There you go. Now, guys, um,. I think if you're a synchron lover, like a status lover, this is the best, the best uh, hybrid status that you can play. The uh, because the um, the Makina toolbox. 
can give you so many plays. It can give you uh, a nice way to destroy all of your opponent's monsters with Citadel. It can give you genetic pop with the Fortress when it's destroyed by battle. You can do so much with it. Um, it's super consistent, not gonna lie. The fact that you have two lines of combos, one with the uh, Samsara Sorokat and one with Formula Synchron makes this so versatile. You can play through a lot of stuff. Um, not even evil is a problem because if your opponent just summons Ebly on your field, you're gonna use the skill, you're gonna waste it, but anyway. And maybe a problem could be potentially Summon Breaker, but even there, once you make sure to get a Citadel in Grave, you're not gonna be uh, in that much of a trouble. Anyway, guys, that was all. Hope the guys that were waiting for this uh, are gonna be uh, happy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. You're probably gonna see this in one of the days of the second stage. That, yep, guys, I'm probably trying to do my best playing from the phone uh, in my dad moments when, you know, because as I told you, I'm uh, um, at my parents' house celebrating my dad's birthday um so i had to skip these uh words qualifiers because of a much more important thing that is of course uh love and relatives don't forget about it and yep let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below about this this deck of course thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one